one says, eat some vegetable besides potato every day. <laughs> okay, well today we are in Frederick, Maryland and we are at the Monocacy Boulevard Goodwill, the new Goodwill that isn't so new anymore. The newness is wearing off. Um, but we are here today to see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. Here's a cute sugar bowl. I'm having a moment of deja vu though. I feel like this was here last week. Maybe it was not. This is a candle, I think, right? Belly belly. Cupcake gasket can be a choking hazard for children, so be very careful. Uh, these were definitely here, and I think one of them is broken. Yeah, there's a break on the handle there. I like the shape of that bowl. F.C. Fisher, 1971, $7.49. I think it needs a little wood polish. I think there's some food safe wood polish you could put on there. We'll grab that, F.C. Fisher. We'll have to look that up and see if that has anyone important. That is a very pretty floral bowl. Ooh, I was kind of expecting it to be melamine, actually. I was like reaching for it, expecting it to be really lightweight, and then I picked it up. Hey, look, it's our pastry maker. Look, there it is. Right, isn't that the same one that we saw the other? We'll come back to that anyway. Um, this is really pretty, $5.49. It's marked on the bottom, hand-painted in Portugal. I don't see any damage, huh? Oh, there's a little bit of a chip. And a little bit of a chip there, so I think I'm gonna leave it behind. I'm not happy about it. I might come back to it, I might change my mind. I don't know, this is one of those where I don't put it in my cart, I leave it on the shelf, and then I change my mind and I come back for it. Um, we saw this before, right? I think we did, I think we actually had this in our cart, but it wasn't complete. How much is this? This is $14.49. Nothing scary looking. Those are pretty. Those are Villeroy and Bach. Ooh, Botanica. I didn't know that Villeroy and Bach actually made a botanical wine. I know about Port Marion, but I didn't know about Vill Villeroy and Bach, so maybe we'll stick those um, in the basket and figure it out later. But the question is, do we have plates that go with this? Oh, no, we have these. Those are little ramekins. Those are fancy, like ramekins. Stick those in there. I wonder if these are them. I'm debating whether I really want to dig. I feel like they were freshly put out on the shelves though, and whatever is down here, I feel like probably has been here a while. That looks dainty. What is that? Made in China. I'm kind of digging the florals on that. Birdhouse. Little flashed compote over there for $4.50. This thing's crazy looking. I wonder if that's just for one of those like gravity incense things. Lots of vases here. This is so much fun. It's Teleflora Unicorn. Obviously. In case you were wondering what that was. That was a unicorn. Um, mermaid at home. Elephants. Alright, nothing very exciting. I don't see any Vilroy and Bach plates, which makes me think that maybe somebody grabbed the plates and forgot or didn't realize. Wait. And those on. Maybe. Oh my goodness, we're like rearranging all of the plates. Come on, we're getting there. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, is that it? It's Staffordshire. And it's a single plate. It looks like a nice, sturdy mug. Black Sheep Brewery. Blessings in a Backpack. Clay by Laura. Huh. It's fun. I kinda like that. I know 
also like this frog here. What does he have going on? He's holding a heart. Love you. Oh, he blinks. This is Kitty's Critters. Blink. Well, he did blink, and then he didn't. <laughs> hmm. I thought maybe that could be Polish pottery, but I don't see any markings on it. Except for 90... 36. That's a 36. Not, not even close to anything 90 anything. So definitely 36 on there. I like you. You are fun. Come here. No markings on there. That is a fun mid-century looking bottle. Um, obviously, we could use a little masking tape. And it's funny I say that because um, a lot of the times I find these bottles and they just have like wads of masking tape wrapped around as the stopper. And I always thought it was so goofy, but um, now you know why. Because I'm, I'm setting... <laughs> what, what are you doing, Gossel? Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm putting it in my cart. That's what I'm doing. Candies. What is this? Pa Pava? I don't know what that's supposed to say. But it's fun. Candies. I feel like the handle needs a little work, but you can buy rattan, rattan handles um, on eBay. I've replaced them on teapots before. I feel like that would do better with like a rattan handle. Vintage, it's fun. And it's actually, it kind of looks like a peppermint, so I think it would be great for Christmas. How much is it? $3.50. There's a chip on that dish. It's 1970s. Great barrel, $2.50. It's funny, I've noticed that a lot of the times when something says crate and barrel, they jack the price up on it. So I'm surprised that those are only $2.50. England. Mm. Um, actually, what I was looking at was down here. He has owls. Kind of digging the owl. Last time I was here, I found some of that um, restoration hardware stuff. So it was worth checking out a little bit of the metals. This is pretty. It could be crystal. I don't see any markings on it though. What is that thing? like a Picasso. <laughs> no, it's Miro. $5.49. Hmm. I could hang that in my house, even though it is a print. Brush teeth every day. Copyright 1923. <laughs> This one says, eat some vegetable besides potato every day. <laughs> Guilty. I was actually thinking of stopping at Burger King after this to get some french fries. <laughs> that is too funny. $3.49. Mm -hmm. That looks like it's really 1900s possibly. I don't know, that strikes me as a mother and child collecting firewood. That could be part of my, um, my wall of artwork. I kind of like those two. Those ones are Japan. Down here is a foil artwork. The Robin. Oops, I gotta move my cart. And this one is signed, it looks like. That one's got some age as well. That's Edinburgh, looks like. John Noss something Edinburgh. Could just be his name and not the city. Although I've been to Edinburgh and that's kind of what it looks like. I don't know. Hm. I don't know. I think I'm gonna leave that one behind. There is one of the toilet paper girls. Looking cute. So here is a set of three of these Villeroy and Bach um, soup bowls. We have 
four. A set of three sold for seventy dollars. Here's another set of four that sold for forty-five. So I think for buck fifty each, we're going to do all right on those. I just I was passing back by and I decided, you know what? I should probably look those up and decide whether or not to set them back or not. I don't see any others. You know, it'd be wonderful if we could find like a large serving bowl because we're talking about some really good money, but I don't see any big serving bowls. And I would love to find some plates. I don't know. I'm going to dig some more. All right, so I'm creeping over here and I noticed this. I had to get up on my tippy toes and look at it. That is so much fun, $8.50. Where's the damage? <laughs> it's great. Is that wine and cheese or is that wine and ice cream? I don't know anymore. I question everything after finding those ice cream plates. What are you? I saw that applied handle. I thought maybe it was uranium glass. Purple. Not I don't think we have any purple. Plates weren't in the cart either, so. Sell stoneware festival. Okay. I'm gonna give up. This is me giving up. <laughs> well, on my quest to find the Vilroy and Bach, I did find some um, iron stone. It's not marked, but that's what it is. You can see them, the impressed design there, and it's pretty worn out. Um, this right here is marked. I'll set these down for a second to show you. This is Alfred Megan. Um, some of them are really discolored and in bad condition though. I don't know. <laughs> He's got me an ironstone. I I know they're worth more than a buck fifty, but I don't think it's worth just picking up one. And only one is in good condition. Made in Portugal. dirty in there, isn't it? It's kind of pretty. $6.50 though. I don't know if I want to pick that up. All right, I'm going to poke around the Christmas here for a few minutes and then I think I'm going to get out of here. Keep rolling for the day because it's already four o'clock and I still have two more good bowls that I want to visit. So I got to keep moving. But they've got lots of baggies. Oh, look at this guy. He's adorable. I think he's a hobbyist. Yeah, Holland Mold. I like the way they painted him. Maybe I'll grab this if it's not too expensive. $3.50. I just sold the one out of my booth, so... I need another one. I kind of like the way those are painted. Made in Indonesia. They kind of have like a batik look to them. And there is a pair of them. They are kind of Christmas colors. I don't know if they are necessarily Christmas. $2.50 each. You know what I have not found yet this Christmas season that's really surprising is I have not found a baggie full of Fontanini um, nativity figures. And that's really surprising because usually every year I pull one out and so I'm actually kind of surprised that this year we haven't found one yet. Because they're just kind of obscure. They're like plastic and nobody really thinks much of them. Those are all um, carved. These are pretty neat. Anyway, um, there's a few more baggies on the other side. I want to go look through those real quick. Check out that lamp. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but I've had a crazy looking shade. Probably a giant glass globe, right? $9.49. You could probably get away with putting like a hurricane shade on it now. It probably broke. That's probably what happened. I'm trying to get a look at the one behind it. 
nice glass or crystal looking thing behind it, but no Hot Wheels lamps. Here are some angels. What does that one say on the bottom? That one says genuine pewter made in Bolivia. Huh. Bolivian pewter. Five dollars and forty-nine cents. I was actually interested in those other angels. I guess those are a uh, wall plaques. But I'll take the Bolivian pewter. I feel like they're made of pewter and they're not all dented up and oxidized. Those are kind of nice. A few napkin rings. What are those? Are those mushrooms? They are mushrooms. They're mushroom um, chopstick rust. <laughs> I think. Although that kind of looks like a rabbit. <laughs> rabbit and a mushroom. It makes perfect sense. Oh, that one's neat. Look at that. Now, forgive me for my ignorance. I know that this is a god. Um, this elephant. $4.49. Is it Hindu? I believe. Is that is carved and that is really neat. So I'm going to buy, buy this bag of shells and sea glass for that awesome elephant. Yeah, it does have a pointy uh, top to it, but I like that. And there's a Christmas tree. There's some more napkin rings. Those are left in. They have flowers on them. I do like those. But I don't think I'm going to buy them today. I've got quite a cart full. And um, I'm going to pass. Those are Homeco. Those are the cross swords of Homeco. <laughs> Not to be confused with the cross swords of Mycin. Okay. Well, wouldn't it be awesome if we could pull some silver out of the Christmas section here? I don't think our chances are very high, though. I think that was probably a fluke. <laughs> But here is some more Christmas section. They kind of have it like over there and over here and a little bit over everywhere. Um, those are probably made in Japan. Some of the Erzgeberg, I can't pronounce it. Um, some of the ones that are made in Germany can be worth money, but those are not the German ones. Those are the Japanese ones. There's some more rain boots, but I think the ones with the polka dots that I got at the other Goodwill were better. What in the world is this thing that it deserves a special place of honor in a glass case? $8.50. It is Pinecone Santa. Goodness gracious. I don't know what to think of that. So I figured I'd grab this frame um, for Juliet. As you know, she has been quite the artist lately. And I think that this is the right size uh, for the paper she's been using. So I'm going to stick this in here, and when we get home, we could put one of her artworks in that frame. Obviously, it's going to take me a while to collect enough frames because she, she was quite busy. She was a Picasso. Um, <laughs> those are not going to be big enough. She was, yeah, she was definitely busy at work, um, but I think that's a good start. Start with that frame. All right, down here, these are... Um, Made in Taiwan. Ooh, tricky. So these are supposed to be um, antique oil light holders um, that they would hang on brackets on the wall. But you can see this one has a Made in Taiwan sticker on it. Which is a little confusing, but I can actually see. Look here at the, um, the hardware there. You can actually see it's not real worn, it's kind of shiny. So these are reproduction. Oh yeah. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, well our total spend there I think was $76 even. <laughs> Now, I did cut out of there a little bit early. There at the end, two of the teenage guys working there were shining their scanner in my eyes as I was filming, which I didn't think was very great. Um, so I <laughs> turned to them and I said, that's not very cute. 
and um, oh I wasn't shining it at you like come on guys come on um, but anyway we're gonna get out of here now I'm gonna head on down the road do another goodwill but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see all of you tomorrow so long I know it's nothing new but it's so good to see you